am not surprised as to what has happened. We know that the Prime Minister was, was held over the barrel and he had no choice but to, to accommodate the owners or the former owners of, of BTL. It is something that we've been saying from the beginning. If you nationalize a company, you need to pay. You cannot behave um, like a tug. You cannot behave um, like you will not follow the laws of this country. And that is precisely what happened to the government. They have gone to the, to the um, Caribbean Court of Justice on two occasions. On the first occasion, they lost the case and they had to start all over by nationalizing it once again. This time, they were going to lose again. But because they did not have the majority or the super majority required under the Constitution, they figured well that they had to negotiate with the owners. Well, the former owners, were rightfully so, put the, put the sabaro over the barrel. Unfortunately, we, the taxpayers, are going to be paying hundreds of millions of dollars um, to, the, to, the, to the former owners of, of BTL, and we have a problem with that. I know that the government is trying to spin it to say, well, it's a victory for us, but when you start to look at everything that we have to pay, the law fees, the, or the liar fees, the, um, the interest that they have, I mean, the government mismanaged this case from day one. And because of their incompetence, because of their, their hubris, and because of their vindictiveness and spitefulness, the Belizean people are now saddled to pay hundreds of millions of dollars. And that is something that the government, Mr. Barrow and his government, cannot run away from.